Hey everybody, it's Alyssa and I am really excited to be sharing with you how you can give yourself a bonus. Um, whether it's the first week of the sales month or the last week of the sales month, you can always get a bonus from Tupperware and make something happen. So what I want to first start by is sharing with you um, a fabulous chart that just kind of shows you um, all of the different bonuses that you can make in Tupperware because it's not just your personal profit of your 25% but there's so much more. So let me share this screen. So here you go. Let's make Tupperware show you the money. Um, basically this, every last calendar Friday of the sale of the month is the ending of our sales month. And so you want to make sure you're always watching to see how much, how close you are to one of these levels. So first of all, you always make as just your regular profit, your 25% of everything you sell, right? But then there's extra bonuses too. So I wanna share with you a couple of them. First of all, when you have at least $500 in personal sales and a paid website, you're gonna get a bonus. That bonus is based on random sales that are um, placed on Tupperware.com. They divide up the total sales and give you the profit from it amongst every consultant who has at least $500 in sales and a paid website. And this is great money. Um, usually it's anywhere from 10 to $30 and it pays for your website right off the bat. So it's definitely worth every single month to have your website paid and to have $500 in sales. Even if nobody's using your website, you're still going to get stuff paid for. Then when you have at least $1,500 or more um, each sales month, you're going to get a personal sales volume bonus. And there's a, a, a chart that you're, we're going to, I'm going to show you in a minute that allows you to go from one level to the next. So you're making money on your $1,500 personally, but you also are going to get paid a bonus on top of that when you hit $1,500. So if you're at $1,400 or $1,000 or $900 in the last week of the month, you want to stretch for that $1,500 because you're going to get a bonus. And when you step up to manager, now this bonus is a bonus you get one time only, and then you're going to be making the remaining bonuses after that, okay? So... First of all, we have the um, first time step up of the manager, star and manager and executive manager bonus. So basically when you step up to manager for the very first time, you're gonna get a $100 bonus for stepping up. When you step up to star for the very first time, you get 150 and when you step up to executive star, you're gonna get $200 bonus. And you can skip a level. So let's say you go from consultant to star manager, you're gonna actually get your $100 and your $150. So you'll get um, a total of $250 right there, right off the bat. And then um, you're going to have um, your, once you are a manager and you start a sales month as a manager in title, you get your Vanguard bonus based on your unit volume. It's hit a level, get a bonus. And you're also going to get your profit plus, which is not listed on here. I'm going to have to edit that but your profit plus. Um, and that's based on a percentage of your unit sales. So you're gonna take your total unit sales and you're gonna get a percentage of that. So as a manager, just because you start the month as manager and you're gonna get two additional bonuses on top of your profit, on top of your um, personal sales volume bonus, and then you get the two bonuses that you'll get paid as a manager. When you step up to director for the very first time, you're gonna get a thousand dollar bonus. Whoop, whoop. And if you are a director who's promoting a director, you're gonna make anywhere from $1,500 for stepping that director up to 2,500, which is pretty amazing. Um, also in there, one of the other bonuses that you get as an as a, um, executive manager is our executive manager bonus. So when you're an executive manager, you get an additional $150 every single month just because you're an executive manager hitting your minimums. Pretty amazing, huh? I know you guys are shaking your heads, yes. Um, so there's lots of bonuses to meet, be made. As a um, consultant, there's two ways you get paid, your personal profit and one bonus. As a manager, there's your personal profit, your personal sales volume bonus, which you make as a consultant, and then you'll get your Vanguard and your Profit Plus. Once you step to executive, you get to add the executive manager bonus. And when you're a director, you're gonna be getting additional things like a company car and such, okay? Um, so I don't want anybody missing their bonuses. So if you're just a little bit shy of $500 and have a paid website, 
make sure you get to that next level, that $500 in sales, make sure your website's paid and up to date. If you are working on your personal sales volume bonus, you wanna take a look at your chart so you can get to that next level. So let me just show you, um, I have, let's see which one, I'm gonna use that one. Um, here we go. So here's our personal sales volume bonus chart. And this is really awesome. Um, because if you are doing $1,500, which is about three standard parties or activities each month, you get an extra $50 bonus just because when you hit 2000, you're getting a hundred and so on. When you reach 3,500, you get 250, which is about seven Tupperware parties or activities that you're doing standard. If you do 4,000, just one more, your bonus goes from 250 up to $400 just because, and this is an unlimited number. So when you keep selling, you're going to keep earning more and more and more. Like if you can see down here, for every $500 more, you sell above 10,000, you're getting another $50. So you can see at $10,000 at $10, in personal sales, you get a $1,000 bonus. At $10,500, you get $1,050 and so on. Pretty rich, right? To get those extra bonuses. Um, which is awesome, right? I mean, come on, why wouldn't you want to make that money? Then I want to take you through, that's the bonuses, okay? Um, I want to take you through kind of the basics. If you look at the basics of holding a Tupperware party, um, there's three plans that you can take a look at and decide what works best for your family, what kind of income you want to be making. Excuse me. Sorry guys, I'm talking a lot, which leads to lack of brain cells, um, oxygen to brain, I mean. Can't even talk. So basically, if you're looking here and you start over here with one weekly party or activity, that's three to five hours that you're spending outside of your home or working on Tupperware, not just at the party, right? The party's about two to three hours. The rest is going to be behind the scenes, phone calls, um, delivering um, party packets, that kind of thing. Your monthly income just on your personal profit of holding a standard $500 party once a week, you're getting $600 a month plus you're going to, and your weekly bonus. So this is your personal profit plus your bonus. Okay. $600 plus your weekly income that divides out to $125 a week. So if you're looking to make a little extra cash, be able to do the extras around um, the house, that kind of thing, $125 a week is pretty great money for only doing one party a week. When you're doing two parties a week, your income, your pro personal profit, and your personal sales volume bonus is $1,400. And that's about $250 a week is what you'd be looking at. And then if you take a look at three parties a week, you're going to be taking home. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, guys. $2,100 for the month and $450 a week. And you can see that when you do these kinds of parties, this is a, based on a standard $500 party. And if you date three parties and you hold two, you're gonna be making really great money, right? Date two parties, hold one party, you're gonna be making some great money. And so um, when you look at that, you're gonna be able to really maximize your um, income by holding a few more parties each way, right? Um, we can agree that in top where we make really great money. So how do you take the last week of the sales month and look at where you are? Today's Monday, we have till Friday to submit all our orders. How do you look at that and say, okay, I'm at X amount of sales, how much more do I need to sell? And so I wanna break it down for you. So if you're looking at your sales and you're like, oh my goodness, I am at, I don't know, let's say $1,000 in sales, you're $500 away, you don't have a party yet um, this week. There's a couple things, excuse me, that you can do to pull together a party, okay, or pull together sales. So let's take a look, okay? So I'm going to give you guys some ideas on what you can do to reach your bonus. And if you're not sure where you are for sales or how much time you have left when you watch this video, because I know some of you are going to be watching this on the first week of the month. Some of you are going to be watching this um, later on tonight. So if you're not sure, what I want you to do is message me and just say, hey, Alyssa, I really want to make a bonus this month. This is the one I want to make. 
how do I get there? I can break it down for you by party. But if you're sitting here and it's the last week of the month, it's Friday, Monday night, and you want to get it by Friday, right? You want to get a bonus. What you're going to do is you're going to take the level that you want to sell. Okay, so let's say you want to get that $50 bonus for hitting $1,500. You're going to take your $1,500 total minus your um, total sales you already have, which you can find on your um, personal summary page in my sales. That's going to have a difference. And then you're going to take that number and you're going to decide, okay, let's say you're $500 away. So are you going to pull together an instant party and have a couple of friends over to your house, um, have them each bring a friend and do a super quick instant recipe like um, salsa or guacamole? Or are you going to go to a doctor's office, a dentist's office, an insurance agency, whatever this week and offer to make them lunch and um, have them do a little mini party? Could you do two or three of those this week? Are you going to um, maybe instead um, pull out a fabulous Facebook party? Some of you are really rocking those right now. Um, and get them motivated for that next host bonus level. Now, in my experience, I'm not very good at those, and I would be much better off going out and selling to real people um, in person, not that Facebook people aren't real, but re people in person, because I know I can get those sales closed versus the um, virtual party stuff. But if that's something that you're really great at, by all means, give it a go. Um, Maybe you're out there um, and you're going to just focus on selling one particular item or set. Um, right now, and I know this is gonna be different when you take a look at this video, but right now we have two really fabulous sales. One is our um, get it all lunch, um, go green lunch set. And so how many of those sets would you need to sell? It's $75 for the whole package and they're saving a ton of money. How many of those would you sell, need to sell to reach your goal? And who are you gonna contact? So that's one thing you could do. Right now we also have our Fix and Mix Bowl for $15. So how many Fix and Mix Bowls do you need to sell? So you would just take your total that you need, like $500, divide by 15, that's how many you need. So it makes it really simple when you are taking a look at, at a goal, when you know that you only need to sell so many sets. So let's just take that for an example. Let's say you're $500 away. Let's say you're at $0 in sales, but you have a paid website. And you're like, shoot, man, I can get my website paid for, my Tupperware. I want to have $500 in sales. So $500 divided by 15, that's 34 of those bowls. Okay, so maybe you find 17 people and they each but have a buddy that they're going to um, – have get one with them or maybe they're buying one for themselves and one as a gift okay so 34 bowls or if you're looking at the back to school lunch set that's only seven people so do you know seven people who have kids going back to school that usually end up throwing away the pot baggies all that stuff um probably so i would take a look at those things and say okay how am i going to make my goals still this week? And what kind of impact am I going to make on my income? Because with, depending on how far you are, you're going to be giving yourself some extra income. Let's just use the same example of that $500. You're making $125 this week. So is it worth it to go out and do a little hustle so you can get that $125 by Friday night? I would say, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's make it happen. So I wanted to just do a fairly short um, one class for this Zoom because I, or this Spark Studio because I really wanted you guys to see there's tons of potential in Tupperware as far as bonuses go and a lot of people just let it sit on the table. I can't tell you how many times I have people who have paid websites who have $300 in sales for the month or $400 or they miss it by a dollar and they don't even realize what they're doing. They're missing their bonus, the extra money that Tupperware is paying for them. So I encourage you to take a look at your numbers if you're not sure where. I usually tag all of you into Facebook in a post um, either tonight or tomorrow so you have that kind of knowledge of where you're sitting so far and we can really, really help you reach the goal that you want to do each month. And if you're at one level this month, you can always strive for the next level next month. And the worst that happens when you're striving for the next level is you're going to fall right below and still make a really great bonus. So thank you for watching the Spark Studio and contact me for more details on the kinds of bonuses.